Happy Pearl Day, it's a fantastic time to be speaking to you about our culture. Mm -hmm. I know in Dominica we normally go sometimes for the last Friday in the month, but today is the 28th and across the world today has been recognized as Pearl Day. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for you and your business? Oh boy, it means a lot. I sometimes say, why didn't they take off that day from the calendar? <laughs> but then, that's my time, that's my peak time. I really, really enjoy this time. I look forward to it. I prepare for it months in advance, and I try to make sure that my farmers and everything that has to be in place is there, so we can open a big bang, not only on the Friday, but like all today, and so we go on, like the whole week. Yes. But the peak is Friday. Yes. I love this time of the year in Dominica. And I noticed that you're all dressed up. Can you tell us why you're dressed like this? Um, because I'm telling you, I'm a real patriotic. I'm a real true Dominican. And when this time of year reach, the only thing I want to see is my dress. Yes. I want to dress up. And then, not boasting of myself, I was Madam of 2013. Yes. So it's like it left that kind of... Fashion. You know, yes, so yes, yes. whenever I'm in that outfit, I feel like a real queen. <laughs> you are a queen, my That's boy. what you I know. So tell, tell me about the name Marboid. What does that mean for your, you know, my your, establishment? Your yes. Okay, Marboid is because it's the same curl thing. You get married to a man, his name is Earl. They forget your name is Shirley, they call you Mar Earl. <laughs> So they forget my name is Veronica. They call I didn't me Ma Boy. Your name was Veronica. You yeah, see that? Yes. So they call me Ma Boy because I got married to Boyd. Mm -hmm. No, they don't call you by the surname, you know, they call you by the man's first name. Yes. So then Ma Boy came up and then I came by the port. He too being a huckster going to and fro. Boyd, Boyd, Boyd. Ma Boyd, Ma Boyd. Then I opened this little restaurant here. So it just kept that Ma Boy and it's like, you just want to know who is my boy come and look for my boy yes, yes. Mm. and my boy the really is now a household, a household name, name for yes. us in terms of our cuisine mm -hmm. and in terms and of i didn't everything. really open that i really didn't open that snack it to really make it that big bang but i'll tell you one thing when god is in it it moves yeah because when i opened here i told God that I don't want to forget him. I don't want to be rich to forget him. And I don't want to be poor to steal. Yes. And I think that little motto, it just, and then people will come. I cannot hear somebody say they're hungry. It pricks me. I give. And I don't give and tell my right hand, look, I gave Jack. I just do it and I do it willingly. As I always say, if I'm not doing the thing, there is two things, yes and no. If I told you I'm going to do it, yes, I keep my word. If I say I can't do it, don't force me, yeah. because I just can't do it. That's the kind of person I am. So tell me who your captive audience is or your clientele in this simple little place. Little place. Yes. All kinds. Yes, yes. Starts from the head, go way down to the bottom. Yes, yes. And I respect everybody and everybody form of eating. And I think that gave that kind of love and that kind of wanting to know my boy, wanting to see my boy. A child will come. I'm not going to look to see the parents can buy that for the child. I have a weakness for children. I'm a mother of six, a grandmother of 12. Wow. So I have a weakness for children. I have a great grand one. Wow. So, you know, with that, I have a passion for children. So I, I'm always ready to give. Always ready to give. Always ready to give. I think um, you mentioned that uh, a whole diverse classification of people come mm -hmm. to, to whole. your place All on kinds. the beach side next to the main port mm -hmm. in Dominica. And it, it, it's not a, a, a what do you call a typical center of tongue restaurant. No, no. But businesses like that have a special place in our culture mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think you really have 
captured that. I've captured that. that. I've, captured that. I've got no hundred percent. I can tap myself <laughs> for that. I have captured so, that because they will come from everywhere. The secret, yes. the secret is um, when you have a restaurant, you don't cook while. Mm. You cook like today, you do this, tomorrow you do that, and you try to maintain. And your taste must be the same. So because of that, you're coming down to town on Tuesday or Wednesday. Like they like today, you'll say, boy, I come in down to town today, I go with my my boy for red bean soup. You know you'll get that because I will not say, well, today I didn't feel like making this soup, I made something else. You keep consistency. Consistent. That is what it is all about. So you'll come, you'll get red bean soup. A day like today, you'll get sang coach. Now we're always local, eh? Yeah. We're always local. So when Creole comes, it just gives us a boost of more. Yeah. But here it's always local. Purely local. Purely local. Purely local. Local juices, local everything. We don't use Bohayo here. I'm giving you all the freeway to go from my kitchen. And see if you see anything called Bohayo or any of those. Mm -mm. Local. Pure local. Local. And that, that I think is really the, the true meaning of our Creole. Creole cuisine. is really. So, what are some of the typical um, items that you serve? Okay, we still in the morning. Yes, menu. I can give you. I can give you my Creole menu for Friday. We are going to have aguti. Wow. We are going to have rabbit. We are also going to have crab, stew crab, kalalutu. We are going to have a shatu. We are going to have fricassee chicken. Instead of getting chicken wing stew, Creole day you'll get the whole fowl. You'll pat yes. up the fowl. Yes. So we call it fricassee. We'll have fish. We'll have stewed TTV because you're accustomed to acres, but we're going to have stewed TTV. Um, boy, lots, you know. We're going to have some pork chops and some stewed pork. We're just going to have loads of food. With that, we are going to serve pigeon peas. Why? Pigeon peas is what we grow. We grow pigeon peas. So we're going to use more pigeon peas. Local foods. And we're going to use a lot of vegetables, watercress, tomatoes, what we grow. That's what we're going to put on Friday. So if people want a typical Dominican Creole menu, come down is, to my boy. Just eat. call my boy. My boy is food. What about the um, on a normal non curl day? I know every time I come where I may not get sauce anyway, but you always have sauce. sauce. And you do something special with your <laughs> shell. <laughs> can tell us a little bit about yes that. because you see the sauce miss coffee sauce dominicans like sauce yes. and when they come they tell you they want the nose so i told them the pig i always tell them so the pig only carry a nose then carry a face no 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 i want a piece of nose so they come in for their nose mm -hmm. now it only happened one time while a friday night i remember in the early days of me having the snack it People were there drinking and wanting something salty to eat. Mm. I say, boy, I haven't got pig feet there. I wonder if I can I just use pig snout and make a little sauce, cut it up small. Man, Miss Coffee, from the time I make that thing, I can't open here without pig snout. <laughs> <laughs> pig snout is the number one. Yes. And then we have that sauce, pig feet. And now the, the, the farmers now are getting away to smoke the snout mm. and the feet, the pig tail. So, that smoke brings a little extra flavor. You know, smoke brings a flavor. But do you do fushing? To me, I never yeah, we do fushing. Yeah, we do fushing. But um, all now, so I have my fishing so to clean. We okay. do fishing mainly on a Saturday. Okay. Because we cannot get fish skin as we used to get it before. Mm -hmm. So I do it on a Saturday. But um, hopefully on Friday, I will have fishing. So what is a typical Creole breakfast like? Yeah. Boy, a typical bread breakfast, your tummy can't hold all of that, you know. It's breadfruit, it's green bananas, it's, um, I learned a new little thing that you do with spinach and okra. Okay. Very nice. It's local. And um, I always experiment little things and when I find others enjoy it, I just bring it out. So we'll have a little spinach and okra, which would be the salad. But that's not all. You can have cucumber and watercress, tomatoes, you know, avocados. That's not missing. A little smoke herring, a little codfish. Yeah. 
a little sauce. You can go further again. A little stew TV or fry TV Accra. Lots of food. Lots, lots, lots of food. Mm -hmm. And and then we do um liver and gizzard stewed. But that's mm. not all. We have yeah. fish fried. Yes. Nice red pot fish. Yeah, yeah fried. Okay. Lots of goodies. Excellent. Because of your popularity, mm -hmm. I know that um, you mentioned, you alluded to it earlier, but I'll, I'll just come by. I know that you took part, because I'm looking at the, the designs behind you. Mm -hmm. I know that you took part in a, one of our national contests. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what the, what the show was and what the experience was like for you? And what you think it meant for your My fans? My fans, oh boy. <laughs> they ran out of tickets, you know, that night. <laughs> People went home. <laughs> Vex because they didn't get their tickets. I told them I purchase know. your tickets early. You know, I know there are going to be a lot of people. I know, I know. And the biggest surprise that day, which I'll never forget, my son left St. Croix, asked for time off from work to come see his mother on stage because he wondered where I got that extra piece of God. But you see, dealing with people and bringing out yourself, it gives you that self esteem yes, and it gives you that. Confidence. Yeah. So you, I figured I could do it, so I did it. Mm -hmm. But it was really, really nice and pleasant. I, if I have to do it again, I will do it. Not for winning, though I may. <laughs> but just the, exp you know, just yes, to go on the stage again yes, and to yes, yes. do my little thing. Yes. And remember when I was 15 and 16 years old, how I would act in a concert at St. Martin's yes, School. You yes, know, so it just brings yes, you back into a nice yes, little yes, young fresh yes, mind again. Yes, yes. But um, I really enjoyed it, and um, it did a lot because a lot of my customers still know to that show. Mm -hmm. And then the remark was that I gave the judges a broth the day before <laughs> the show, so that's why I caught it. But that's not true, it's just I they saying them, those yes, things, yes. and they know those things don't hurt me, so they I just know, throw I them know. on me, know, you know. But it was nice, it was a very all, nice it's experience. It's all part of the relationship, relationship with, your you with your customers. Very and good. Have a laugh over you. And very you over good, very good. And, and they know that wouldn't trouble my boy, yes, you know. Yes, so. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, how important do you think our food mm -hmm. is for our Creole lifestyle? Our food? Oh, food is special, you know, mm -hmm. because you'll go anywhere else and you will ask for a green banana, you'll buy it, you'll buy a dashi or a tanya, something you know, and to you, when you cook that food, it hasn't got that kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. it, it, it goes down, but it's not that home kind of taste. Yeah. So, but you have to eat, so you eat, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think our food, I don't know what's so special, but there is something special about our food. And I think it helped our, all our aged people because mm. we have a lot of centenarians. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, a lot of centenarians. I had an aunt who died at 104. Wow. Her brother died at 103. My goodness. And she was so boastful. She told her brother, I am sure going to outscore you by one. Wow. And she did outscore him by one. There's a mindset as well. Yeah, mindset. mindset. And let me tell you, our food, our food is good food. Good, good food. When I'm out of here, I miss our food. Even if I try to cook it. Although sometimes I spend most times in St. Croix. And when Triple K and any ban I know coming down, any Dominican coming down, I make myself available to treat them. Yeah. I will not treat them with the American food, I'll cook a nice broth. And so when I go up, I bring up my little provisions and I pinch them. So sometimes when they sit to it, they'll say, but my boy, that's the same broth I had on Friday at the restaurant. I say, it's not the same broth, you know, it's the art. Yes. So when you train, you train well. So when you leave, that they keep that, yes. you know, and then I go over there and I do it so they can identify the broth. Yeah. It's not no make so make up. So whether or not you are here, the consistency, or not, the consistency your continues. Is, is and whenever I visit, I always want to make sure it's up to the standard that I left it. Yeah. If it's not like that, I'll tell you, okay, 
we have to do something about that because it looks so looks so, you know. So how yeah. do you maintain that relationship with your staff? Because I notice even when you're not there, I come mm -hmm. and you know they would really embrace me the same way they as will. when you, when you're not there. Yeah. So how do you manage to have your staff well, relate so well with your customers? Well, because I always tell them the people who come to buy are the people I really need. I really need you too, you know, because I alone cannot do everything. But when the people come, you have to make them feel comfortable, treat them well. I'm not telling you to lie and let them walk on your back, but you do it and do it well. Because I'll get the reports and nothing to say. They, do, they hold their end and they do it very, very well. My daughter, when I'm not there, my daughter held up here when I wasn't here, but now she kind of um, thing. And she did it similar to how I would do it. Yeah. And she would say, she would know exactly who are the people. Oh, let me call mommy on the phone and let her talk to you and blah, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. So it goes well. It goes well. You just have to let your workers know that your customers are your people. You have to respect them because they're the one to bring in so I can dish out to you tomorrow. And what about our visitors? I know this year because we, we are having COVID. Yeah, we, COVID. we have a bit of a limited number of, of people visitors. on the island mm -hmm. now but how do you find the visitors respond to the cuisine aspect of our culture here you know when they come here they may come here for a week or two and they want to consume everything they haven't eaten for four years yeah. so it's like you have to just have things there for them yeah. and as they ask Yes. Bring a piece of this, bring a piece of yes. that. So then you just find it. Sampling. Yeah, they come in. They come in. <laughs> my boy, I want the TV. My boy, I want the that. My boy, how oh, I can get the coconut tablet? My boy. So I don't make coconut tablet, but I have to get it to them. Mm. So you have to. You just have to make yourself available. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Look, you hear story. Mm. <laughs> so the the whole art of the business is really living the culture and yeah, really living the culture, loving what you do. Don't, as my uncle may soul rest in peace, tell for George, you told me, Veronica, you may not be the one to sit behind a desk. You're calling maybe for food. Enjoy doing what you do, and you will see how far you'll reach. Yes. And I can tell you, being a scavenger doesn't make you less a woman. Yes. Being a huckster doesn't make you less a woman. Mm -hmm. You have to enjoy what you do, mm -hmm. and when you enjoy what you do and you put your all into it, you sure will reach somewhere. Excellent. Well, that's a fantastic note to end on. And mm -hmm. I, I just want to thank you for sharing with us and to really let us into your little space because I don't think that series could have ended well without getting you in there. And there was not more of a perfect representation of what our culture, in terms culture. of our food and our hospitality mm -hmm. is that to come to my boy's restaurant. So thank you. Mm -hmm. And if you want to just say one closing word yeah. to I, your customers and to people out there, yeah. I've got an opportunity to do I that. I want to say thank you. And I'm, I feel honored to be on your page. And I also want to say to all Dominicans near and far, no matter where you are, make sure your heart is whole. Mm -hmm. Dominica is Dominica, and Dominica is you, and Dominica is us. That's all we have is Dominica. Yes. So let's enjoy Dominica. Let us make Dominica smile. Don't give her tears. Let her yes. smile. Yes. And what a better season than to do that than you, in our Creole You know season. in our Creole season, and to this time now we are doing it, not for the outsiders they can't come, so oh, those yes. here. Those here have to really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much and God bless and may this place be with us forever and ever yes. and the next generation of your family. Thank you, thank you. I pray does. Yes. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. you. Okay.